Hi everyone, welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. I'm Snookus, and this is the continuation of our Europe Swedish independence campaign, Mark 2. And it's been a few sessions since I played this, and I've been looking forward to it actually, but uh, I'm gonna have to uh, do a little recap for myself here, and uh, maybe for anyone else watching that haven't uh, kept up as much. Uh, we have um, an exploration over here taking place. We are trying to discover the the, all of the North Atlantic, so we can start off our colonization. We are working hard on our exploration ideas and trying to get the colonial range idea so that we can hopefully reach at least Greenland and then go from there. Tech wise, we haven't fallen behind on anything except administrative, which we are catching up on. I think we're actually focusing on that. And as I say, that, as I say that, I, that we are. I am considering maybe f shifting that focus to diplomatic since we have diplomatic ideas after all and we want to both get the text and uh, ideas as soon as possible. So you know what, let's do that right now. 10, um, ten um, diplo points a month should do us good at least. Um, and our new king, um, yeah, and since we have a new king we probably won't um, get a new monarch anytime soon so we'll, we will have to do with the, our disowned John over here but I'm sure that's fine um, we are um, building a spy network over in uh, the Teutonic uh, territory and um, I believe we were gonna take either expand further expand our borders here or take Danzig I, I feel like Danzig should be a priority due to its very favorable trade situation here. Um, we won't take this tech, uh, although every year we wait, we have to remember this, every year we wait, we will get a penalty in our tech um, adoption here. So it's possible we should take it as soon as possible, but if we wait just to the end of December, which is six months from now, we will lose the extra 10% penalty here uh, ahead of time. So, exchanging one extra percent for institution penalty for um, losing the other ahead of time penalty, I feel like it's a pretty pretty obvious trade off you want to take there. Um, war wise, let's see here who we have some truces with. We have truce with Denmark, Norway, Friesland. Yep, Friesland. I, I even started to memorize all the flags here. Uh, and Novgorod, so we can't expand into Novgorod at least for one more year, okay, so maybe we can. Um, actually, let's, let's check Novgorod's diplomatic situation here, they aren't allied with anyone, so it's possible that this could be a pretty, pretty um, easy conquest here, at least taking Priorsk, Priorsk and Kemi, or Kem as they call it in Russia apparently. Um, we probably won't be taking Kolmogory, it would just be an easy territory for Muscovy to take in any uh, conquest wars from their side against us. Possible that we take Novgorod simply because of its uh, very favorable uh, trade situation there as well. We want to uh, try to monop monopolize all of the Baltic Sea trade as much as possible. Um, other Except for that, let's see here, we are allied with um, England, with its cool little flag there, Livonian Order and Poland, and as I remember, we all have favorable relations with each other. Livonians are faltering a bit, but they aren't, uh, they aren't big enough to warrant a real worry. Um, England and Poland are both doing fine, so that's, uh, that's looking good, I think. But as I said, uh, our next conquest should probably the Teutons, which are allied with Hungary and Livonian Order, so we would lose, lose that alliance anyway. And Hungary, I mean, since uh, Poland have um, Lithuania in a PU, the, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, which I'm assuming they will become in the future, will curb stomp Hungary, no worries. Um, so let's see here, would, uh, would our allies actually join us? Poland would, which is really the only thing we need. So, yeah, that's probably our next move. 
manpower wise we're doing fine we don't have any loans so our ducat situation is good as well although we do have our uh, forts turned off so uh, when we turn us on they're gonna drain some of our uh, bank here and same with the mil military okay let's see here then poland wants all of this so it's possible that we could take Danzig and let them have everything else except Stettin. So we take Stettin and Danzig and they take everything else. Um, they might be a bit pissed with us, but I'm sure they'll get over it. Um, so I think that's the way we're gonna do it. Do we have we have a claim on Stettin already? So let's try to take a claim here on Danzig as well. Just to get it over with. And then also, let's also do this to try and signal oh we already have okay so the most favorable thing we could do is take all of this triple land here all of this coast area but if we can't do that then Stettin and Danzig takes priority so if we do attack they don't have any forts here so if we do attack we will try to have our troops ready here and then march for Danzig right away to make sure, make sure that the occupation is in our hands um, anything else no, I think that's it. Uh, Alright, um, rebel faction wise, we do have two rebel factions. One that is pretty close, but fortunately enough, that's in Pomerania. And that's where we're gonna fight anyway. So our army will be ready to stomp down any rebel faction that decide to rise up during the war. Uh, unlawful territory will disappear in a year. So, okay. This shouldn't be a worry at all, really. This will be disappear entirely. No, it won't, because it doesn't have um, uh, unlawful territory. Okay, so... Alright, oh, and we... Right, we have to remember the Evangelical Union. Haven't fired yet, so we don't actually have to worry about that. Um, we are Protestant, though, and we are keep... We are still... Um, I believe we are still... Yep, we are still uh, converting our territories. But our religious unity is high enough that that shouldn't be a worry. How long do we have? Um, let's see here. In government. Babe of devotion? Is that a one I'm thinking of? No. Religious seal. We lose that. Oh, this year. So after November, we're going to have a bit harder time converting. We will still be able to convert every area except Karelia and Natabori, I believe at least. But it will it will take a bit longer. But we also have our Protestant Center Reformation, which will help us in that regard. Um, Bohemia is, is starting to turn in our favor into our religion. Um, <laughs> I think it might be a better way to title it. Um, Brandenburg is already Protestant and much of the northern uh, German area is. So I think it's just a matter of time before um, we have somewhat of a strong coalition going. <coughs> Sorry about that, I'm a bit sniffly today. Um, okay, let's see here. Brandenburg Olneberg and we are, Sweden, us, are the three Protestant original countries. So, unfortunately, I would like to have seen something a bit southern or possibly England taking the Protestant Center Reformation, but it is what it is. I know I've been rambling a while now, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna start soon. Um, we won't overtake Brandenburg in a while here. They have 45 points and they gain 13. They have a 30% chance, uh, chance every month. We have a 9% chance. So um, we can't really rival them there. Anyway, so should we start with um, heightening stuff like that? And winning a month and then shipping over our troops to Pomerania in preparation of the invasion. Let's do that. How are our generals looking? They are well, decent. A two of each is pretty good. 
and a, a free in shock if you want that instead. Cool. Um, yeah, that sounds very nice. I would like to see this exploration done as qu quickly as possible. So now that we have found the coast of Greenland, we can now start to explore the actual provinces there. And after we've done that, we can probably um, we can probably colonize it. <clears throat> um, we can reach here, we can reach here, and we can't reach there. So we, we either need that, th this idea, or this tech. So it shouldn't, not something we, we will have a trou trouble achieving. Okay, um, a new infantry type. So let's go with, I believe, Landsknechten should be the most favorable for, for us. And once again, we have, uh, uh, well, the Swedish guy singing a bunch of Swedish songs. Okay, so our army is ready here in the Pomeranian. How large is the Prussian fleet? It's pretty substantial. So I'm gonna send home my fleet until we get some sort of support. I, although England won't join us, we, we might ha simply have to accept that we won't have any naval supremacy during. We could if we wanted to, but I, I don't want to lose any ships unnecessarily. Okay, so let's fire away and see if we, um, we can do something about this. Leon in order, Hungary and Poland. Sounds great. Okay, here we go. Um, I am charging right in, trying to take Danzig before Poland here. I should have possibly left one infantry behind to just take Stade instead in, but you know, I think we can manage anyway. Okay, so they finished their mission here, so let's uh, try to um, explore some more. This time the coast of the North Atlantic. And we want to explore, uh, find them. Um, we want to discover Greenland, pretty much. Now take the better seat leader. And if we were lower in manpower, I would just siege down with the bare necess necessary troops. But I um, rather not take the chance that we get ambushed by uh, the Teutons and some allies and lose our army. Moscow has claimed Ingermerland. Um, yep, that might be a worry in the future, but as long as we keep on a good terms with Poland, we shouldn't have to worry, really. Let's try to um, act forcefully. No reason to gain um, uh, any revolt risk. We we don't uh, we aren't in any dire need of new church power uh, buffs. And as we expected, the, this war is pretty much in the bag. Uh, there's not really any opposition they can uh, put forward. As you can see, we pretty much have a twice as large force as they do. We have lost a lot of troops and attrition. This is nice that you can see the all the the development of the war pretty much. Okay, so whatever province we just converted has finished converting. Okay, we found Greenland. Nice. That's what I want to hear. So let's now go to the American East Coast, see how far we can reach over there. Now, we, as I said, we can't actually do this uh, until we have gotten this idea, but it's just um, five months away and then we can afford it. For some reason, Marie, uh, the Teutons decided to attack us here in Marienburg. I'm, I'm not sure I, I approve of that tactic decision, strategic decision. Um, okay, let's uh, try somewhere else then. If they don't want to co cooperate, we will simply take them later on. Okay, so this um, province 
let's take some uh, prestige here. Uh, this province is Pomeranian and this is Prussian. So this will be our first Prussian province. Okay, so here we go. Now we start off our colonial ventures. They are identical, so let's take either, really. And in a few years we're gonna see all of Greenland turn Swedish blue here. Something to look forward to. We're losing some money here, but uh, that was, was expected and we will gain some money from the actual piece when we get it. So uh, uh, it shouldn't be much of a worry. We can also regain uh, uh, our debt if we go into debt uh, by simply lowering our fort uh, maintenance and army maintenance and regaining it, regaining it that way. Okay, so we have the possibility now to... Um, create some friendly relations with Brandenburg and even though I would like that prestige um, friendly situation with Brandenburg wouldn't be a bad decision especially since they're also allied with Poland which would pretty much if both Brandenburg and us we uh, are allied with Poland and then we go into the Evan Evangelical Union um, then it's pretty much guaranteed that Poland will be on our side and having Poland on our side in the holy in the evan evangelical wars would be really beneficial so you know what I'm gonna forfeit the pr prestige and take the boost here hopefully that can solidify in a actual alliance after this war we, uh, we let's hope at least And up here, uh, Poland is doing good work subduing uh, the Lemurian order. We do have um, um, an uprising coming up here, um, but that's not something we should worry about really. Either our allies will take care of them, or we will. We will. So let's look here. Oland um, might already have some recent uprising. Without the recent uprising, they would have would have a about a negative one one. So taking this, uh, giving them some revolt risk or local unrest. Um, would give, start them on a path to uh, revolt, but only for five years, and recent revolt is gonna end in like four, three years. So, doing this is the smartest move, I think. Brandenburg is also at war with the Teutons, apparently. And um, what kind of war? Brandenburg and Conquest of Stettin. I'm sorry, Brandenburg, that's our territory now. You can take Stolp and Kolberg if you want to. If you wanna ally with us, you are have to gonna have to you're gonna have to learn to obey the rules here, which is I am um, boss and you are not. Uh right, we uh, No, they're still um, exploring. I thought I had um, finished, but they hadn't and we are soon gonna be finished with this war here how are we doing in Hungary we are well we're winning as well pretty handily as usual and it's not really a worry at all we are losing a great power status that should be um, Okay, so via, via Vijanagar, Vijanagar is gonna overtake us here in the great powers, uh, stat uh, great power, I don't know, position. But um, after this war, when we take Stadin and Danzig, that should shouldn't be an issue any anymore.
Okay, so the exploration is done. Now let's try to focus on the coast. And which will be our... Uh, after we're done with Greenland, we're gonna... Uh, trying, uh, try to settle our first colonial nation. But anyway, uh, our war is doing fine. Our colon uh, colonization ventures are going doing fine. But unfortunately, this is the end of the episode. So uh, I want to say thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you want to see more of this series. Or just in general to support me. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye.